in The Fog of War, which went on to win Morris his only Oscar so far. The 85-year-old McNamara, the defense secretary under Presidents Kennedy and Johnson, tries to draw conclusions about his experiences during Vietnam and in World War II, when he was involved in the firebombing of Japan. What makes it immoral if you lose and not immoral if you win? He asks of that campaign. When it comes to Vietnam, McNamara is both reflective and deflective, suggesting that he was not the warmonger he was portrayed as and was instead primarily executing President Johnson's wishes, and that had President Kennedy lived, he would have found a way to limit the conflict's scale. I don't think we would have had 500,000 men there, McNamara says. At other times, McNamara's downplaying is less persuasive. I'm not really sure I authorized Agent Orange. I don't remember it, he says. But it certainly occurred. The use of it occurred while I was secretary. At the time, critics wondered if Morris was essentially having the wool pulled over his eyes. It's a familiar charge against the filmmaker, who faced similar accusations with his documentary on Steve Bannon, American Dharma. But the portrait of McNamara is too complex to qualify as a simple exoneration. In one of the most jaw-dropping moments, McNamara recalls meeting in 1995 with Nguyen County Thatch, Vietnam's former foreign minister, and being blindsided by Thatch's assertion that the Vietnamese had seen themselves as fighting for their independence, not as pawns of the Chinese or the Russians. How? Thatch apparently asked, could McNamara not have known that? The premise for his entire war was wrong. Morris went on to address the Iraq war head-on in standard operating procedure and the Rumsfeld portrait, the unknown known, both of which are in the news again with the 20th anniversary of the invasion of Iraq, but perhaps neither of them so directly confronts the issue of guilt, an emotion to which McNamara in the film's closing moments, declines to admit, I'd rather be damned if I don't, he says. Crip Camp. 2020. Stream it on Netflix.